It's thunderstormy again on this final part. It's like we've come full circle. Yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go back to my save file and check out the bonus yours. Behold, it is fully unlocked basically. All the music, well actually I should show you this first. Yeah, all this stuff. Enjoy favorite tunes? T and then takes you to here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so basically, we've got all the stuff unlocked here. Good times. Good times. Woo! But you know, we've heard all this music before, so we could probably skip that. <laughs> um, all the star seals, they are over here. Uh, ability scrolls, I'll go over all the stuff that's left over in a little bit, you know, just one thing at a time here. <laughs> Got all the boss battle badges, yep, they're in the shape of said bosses, never really showed that before, but they are indeed, uh, did the spray paints, uh, I never didn't show the map of the secret area, this is referring to, I do believe, the middle type area where with all the powers and stuff like that. That. Um, this is all those puzzle pieces that we are gathering to make various photos here. It's only four photos, and they, yeah, out of 19 pieces, only four special photos. <laughs> no way to really like full, full screen this or anything either, so enjoy it as it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and speaking of photos, there's one more that shows up on your birthday, but I don't really have a way to set the emulator to set the date to be my birthday, as I don't know how that works, or so I'll just have to put it up on the screen. So <laughs> that is all I can do in that regard. <laughs> all right, so now. For the powers, we are here. Let's start out with the hammer. Woo! So, I didn't show this before, is if you charge it up, you do the big hammer. You can also do big ol' flame uppercuts as well, uh, which can be more useful than this, because it's more powerful, but it does take a little bit longer to use, so be wary of that. Next up is the wheel, which I will have to flop out of here to demonstrate its power. Remember how you could use the power of... Oh, wait, that's not the right... <laughs> Remember how you could use the power of the tornado to grab the surface of, like, fire, ice, spark, etc., etc.? Well, you can do the same thing with the wheel now, with the upgrade of the scrolliness. What, what is going on with... Like, I don't know, I'm like lagging or something. I, <laughs> my jump timing is terribly off, but yeah, as you, you can see... Well, you can't turn around on the lava, but you can see it. You get the fire poopers. But yeah, you see the idea. <laughs> Same thing with all sorts of other elemental surfaces and whatnot. Just, you know, make sure you don't turn around on a spot that is unsafe after all. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, back over to ye ol main menu of levels. Head over to... actually, I'll just drop this, just so I'm not, like, juggling too much in my belly at a time. Now with the upgrade here, if you charge this up, it'll shoot arrows at a much straighter velocity. Yeah, it's rather than... Wait, I thought it was... Wait, hold on. Is that...? Yeah, I guess that is as straight as they go, huh? <laughs> I thought it was a lot straighter than that. Hmm... Hmm, I might have to look into this really quick. Oh, okay, okay. I get it. You double tap... Oh, actually, I, sh I should say I checked here. You double tap and then hit B. Well, why did I do that? <laughs> double tap. Yeah. Well, it's like double tap and hold B. Yeah, there's your straight arrow upgrade. <laughs> Woo! So yeah, you gotta like do a run to pull that off. But anyway, okay, we're <laughs> gonna clear that out. Um, the magic. Magic I kind of showed before, I, I do believe, is that if you hold B, 
you do like a final show here and then you kind of kind of lose out on your magic power for good and yeah so <laughs> you can see the different prizes that you can get there and whatnot but I would say just using magic regular is more useful overall um ninja power I'm gonna have to go to another stage to demonstrate this as well uh, what is like the first well actually go like here oh here we go here's some water this is eh. <laughs> I chose a different stage because I was, yeah, it was taking too long. I went over to 3 2. Okay. Ready, ready, ready. For one thing, is. <sighs> I said. Double! Ha! Okay, we're back. You have done. For the love of Arceus, I swear. <laughs> you definitely, definitely gotta go. Absolutely! Positively. Alright, so... One thing, uh, as a ninja, you can walk on water. On land, if you hold the B button, you can do like a fiery jutsu dealio here, but on water... You can do a watery jutsu dealio here. So yeah, that's the power of the scroll of the ninja. It's not as useful as the other faster moves, I guess you could say, because, you know, it's less mobile, and you just stand in place and whatnot, but it's still got its uses. Um, oh, yes! The spark! The all-powerful! Yeah, um, remember I said, not like plasma! Well, now it kinda is like plasma! <laughs> you can charge it by rotating stuff, on the D-pad, standing in place, you do a big ol' energy field. But if you do a run, while doing the charge-up thingy, you can shoot big ol' energy balls of doom. And y you can imagine that this tends to break a lot of things, because it goes through walls and stuff like that. <laughs> Alright. Oh, and I don't think I mentioned before, but the bubble? The bubble has... I mean, I, I mean, I did show this before. I mean, I, yeah, you, you do a double tap to charge a big bubble like that, but that's actually a part of the ability scroll dealio. Um, oh, uh, I gotta reset the stuff for the sword. But in the case of fighter, I can show that. <laughs> so if you hold the B button, you can charge up a Hadouken. But if you're at low health like I am now, it just kind of like does it really quickly. You don't have to wait for any sort of longer charge up or anything like that, which is pretty nice and handy, I've got to say. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'm gonna actually just do the sword now before, before I somehow forget about it. You know how I work sometimes. Now, it's not so much the sword itself as it is what you can now combine it with. Because you see, we weren't able to do this until we got the ability scrolls. Behold! Thunder Sword! Yeah! Now we have the power of the blade. But with electricity to boot! And you can also combine this with fire as well as ice too. So I guess I'll go flop on over there and combo it up. Why did I grab that again when I already showed that one? I do not know. Actually, that will be handy for the future, but come to think of it. <laughs> uh, there we go. Instant of fire sword off. Woo! And interestingly, when you swing your sword at, like, grass and stuff, uh, it'll burn it rather than cut it. So if I were to go back to... Was it 1-2? I think there's some grass, like, right near the beginning. Well, that's nice to have another sword there, but... <laughs> nice for the future! Yeah, I thought there was some nice cuttables. Yeah, see it see it burns instead of slicing through. That's kind of kind of interesting because you'd think that the sword would cut before the fire would hit or something like that, but no. But no. Anyway, back <laughs> back to uh, the other dealio. All we need is a little ice to go with our sordo. And actually, I'm gonna need two ices for the dealio here for the 
combine in the future here. What am I doing? Moving it up to the top? I do not know. Ice sword! You can, of course, freeze water and stuff like that, but none of these elemental swords you can actually use underwater with their powers. Like, you can just... Like, when you go in the water with the sword, it'll automatically switch you back over to regular sword, kinda, while you're in the water. I'll show you here really quick. Eh. See, there's the power of the ice. And see, if you, you do it outside the water, if you go in the water, it changes back to normal. I think they did that because you could break stuff with it. Like, you could freeze yourself in the water and, <laughs> and then not be able to get out or, or push yourself into walls or something like that with the ice. That's my best guess at that, because you know how you can do some stuff with the icy dealios and whatnot. Alright, so that is all of our swords. Now let's go for... Z -z 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 -z. Another combo dealio here. Where's the... Wait, uh, did I pass it? Oh, I need another one of these anyway. Uh, yeah, here we go, bomb. We're gonna go bomb, combine with ice for the ice bomber! Well, oops, that's right, I gotta, gotta select it, the ice bomb! Yes! The, well, you can now do basically anything the ice has, plus you have the explosive powers of the bomb. But, you know, of course, you can't combine bomb with fire. Well, I mean, you can. But it's just gonna do the random power thing, but it, the reason why you can't, like, like the other one is because, you know, bomb is already kind of like fire anyway. So here's thunder bomb now, you're like, what? What's a thunder bomb? Yeah, it's electricity <laughs> with the bombs. Oh, and also, you can drop bombs like this, and I, I, I think you're supposed to be able to do another move that I didn't show, like a, a bomb roll or something like that. Uh... Uh, oh, maybe it's not in this game that I'm thinking of. Hold on. Oh, my, oh, yeah, like that, I think. That's how it was. Yeah, double tap. Double tap and hit B right away. It's sort of like the Cupid. It's a... You, you can tell I'm forgetting about some of these powers. Cause it's not a, a typical move set that I'm using. So, you know? You know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so at least I remembered that, though. Um, oh wait, that's that's the end of that, isn't it? Okay, so... Oh, and I was correct about the UFO giving you that force field dealio when you get the scroll. Yeah, I, I was like, I wasn't too positive, but now I am positive, so yeah. I just had to check into that. Uh, the laser, you can now charge and do a BIG LASER! <laughs> <laughs> so you can imagine this has more powerful, I mean, more power than your typical laser, but that's really only very useful against, like, multi-hit enemies or boss fights, because the regular laser tends to kill everything in one hit anyway, you know? <laughs> uh, Parasol. Now you've got this. You've got the stars of... <sighs> Parasol is still not the most useful of things. <laughs> um, let's see here. I, I, oh yeah, I did show this, so you can use that to get. Because I did that in the boss fight. That's right. Um, let's see. Throw power. I described that you get the elemental tax. Uh, yeah, I think that is about it here with the powers. So, hopefully it helps you strategize and whatnot of what you can do and the like, so... Hopefully, maybe. I mean, I didn't super demonstrate them all along the way, because there's like, I'm I was using whatever I was felt was appropriate for the situation or whatnot, so... <laughs> you know, Kirby's just got a lot of moves. Tons and tons of moves, so... It's not, it's like, they don't all come to mind in your typical play, so... Uh, one thing that I left that I have left that I would like to show, and that I, I said I wasn't going to show, uh, yeah, I just reset the emulator here, is that, well, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna sorta show it, is the extra here. I mean, yes, I, I already showed the collection and stuff like that, but I mean, uh, uh, wait, actually, no, yeah, just, the, I think it is in the extra, yeah, that is, okay, extra mode. I move quickly to collect all the treasure chests! So, remember I said that you got no save file for this? That is true, but... 
you do have a couple of workarounds for this. Like, for one, as you can see here, when you're on the map screen or you're paused or something like that, the timer will not count up. But when you go into a stage, the counter begins and the race is on! And, well, since you have to collect all the treasure chests in a single run, as I was saying about what you might need to do to do this, if you actually want to do this, or besides playing it in one session, of course, is to go ahead and, like, put the DS in sleep mode, and then put it on the charger or something like that, because this is not really the most practical thing for a handheld. <laughs> You know, because it's on the battery charge, and you, you may not have, like, two hours just to collect all the treasure chests in one go. So, yeah, I'm just sort of kind of hoping that I'll give you options in that regard. Oh no, save them! I dedicate this Maxim Tomato to that Waddle Dee. But yeah, so the, the thing about this mode is, I, I've actually never even bothered to complete it, because, <laughs> because because it's literally replaying the entire game in one session and preventing you from playing other games on the system, even if you put it in sleep mode and stuff like that, so I was like, eh, I did it before, I don't need to do it again, and at least in a time mode. <laughs> One thing that is interesting, though, about this is that all the worlds are unlocked from the get-go here. So you can do things in any which order that you please, as you can see there, except, you know, you still have to unlock the stages as you go. But since every stage has a treasure chest anyway, except for a select few, it's like, well, yeah, we're, we're, we're replaying the whole game <laughs> for the most part. Like, even this one, which didn't have a treasure chest had to be completed, so we can get to 1-2 to get its treasure chests. And yeah, I think you see where it's going there, so... It, the bosses have treasure chests, the levels have the treasure chests, it all has the treasure chests, including the two treasures... The two treasure chests for the final boss, so... <laughs> it's like, man... Man, that's a lot of playing in one session, if you were to play it in one session. <laughs> and that's about all that I wanted to say on the extra mode here, so... I guess that's about it for the walkthrough, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Kirby games... typically on the short side, unfortunately. But hey, Kirby games are mega fun anyway, so... definitely worth a play for sure. So with that, I'm going to end off the walkthrough here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next walkthrough when I stack the deck in my favor.